afternoon. So this video, just a quick one on just how to clean out your engine when you finish with it. Now every loco is slightly different, so this is just what applies to this one. Um, but basically with the day after it being used, so what we first of all, the fire's nice and cool now, so I've taken out all the coal that was in there. That's all taken out and that's all now spread out in the ash pan down here. The next thing is that we want to get the bars out. So in this one, we don't have, uh, some, some have a grate where you can drop it or the grate drops down, you have a lever you can pull. We don't have anything like this, so it's a case of taking out the grate. So the grate comes out in three pieces like this. These ones can fit out of the fire hole. The other one drops down and you can take it out of the bottom there. Okay, once we've done that, it's then a case of cleaning out the ash pan underneath there, getting rid of all the ash that's fallen out. So I've already done that, and trusty Hoover always makes a nice clean job of it. So that's completely cleared out the fire. Right, so now we want to clean out the front of the loco. So front of the loco, we undo Another at the front, turn that one there, and out it comes. So that's just turning this T bar here, which has been in there. So when you like that, it's locked like that. Turn it that way, it can come out. Okay, nice and straightforward. That then drops down, and we can remove that one out. Like that so now we have clear access so this is the spark arrestor that's coming up here needs a good clean because it's absolutely filthy you can you can see that how filthy that is so that is going to come out and that will get a good clean so it's just held in by a clip Okay, and there is, it is all out, okay, you can see quite a lot of soot, quite a lot of soot in there, so we just need to get that all completely cleaned out. Okay, so I'm only just doing an initial clean there. The reason I just want to do that is because it gets quite a lot of the ash out of the way. Now what we want to do is focus on the tubes. No point making this nice and clean when the tubes are still dirty and when I clean those it's just going to put a load of dirt back in to the smoke box here. Right so this is just a case of rodding out each hole and making sure that it's completely nice and clean, free of soot. Because the cleaner these holes are, or tubes are, sorry, the better contact the heat is going to have with the water inside the boiler. So you've got to have them nice and clean to get the best economic use of your fire to heat your water as quickly as possible with the least fire possible. And now we're just going to get the hoover and hoover up all that came out when doing the tubes. Right, so now we've done all that, we're just going to start on the blast pipe and get that all nice and cleaned up. Right, so we've now cleaned that up. I've also just given the chimney a bit of a sweep. Um, which obviously then subsequently fell back down so we had to then do a load more cleaning up and then hoovered it all out. Um, this whole situation um, 
down here with the uh, the boiler clay and uh, everything around the blast pipe and the blower and um, we're going to have a look at that over the winter get that a little bit cleaner get that a little bit better because um, it looks like there's a fair amount that needs to get cleaned up on that um, so we'll get that all sorted out over the winter and then we get the door cleaned off and so that's all good just to close up again now so what you notice is there's plenty of copper grease around the sides and that is just so that it forms a nice tight seal when it's put back together so I'm now going to put it all back together and get that all closed off and then we are done cleaning up right okay so we've got the dome off put that to one side you either have two options you can either have a completely empty dried out dry as a bone boiler which will therefore have no water involved and as long as you can keep that nice and sealed should be okay or you can go down the other option where you can fill it up completely making sure there's some treatment in your water and that can you can get that filled to full to the brim and therefore there's no issue there with the oxygen etc being in there so you got those two options um, now from this point of view we're going to be doing work on the boiler over the winter so what I want to do here is get it nice and full see it's over the winter so you want to make sure that you can't freeze so you need to make sure it's very well tucked in and covered up and um, so get it nice and and, and covered make sure no frost or, or extreme cold weather can get to it and uh, yes yeah, so we get that nice and full of water now right so the first thing is to take the nut out of the dome Taking the plug out of the dome. Okay, so that's what this looks like. Square end. And that. Okay. And we're pop the fun of it. Right, so we've put in the last of the water. Now we need to just give her a final clean up. A little bit of a rub down and polish. 